hello it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine it's just after eight o'clock and I look a state and um, I did debate when to film today's vlogmas um, we you know we're going out later today so I thought I'd come on early well early-ish and you know hopefully get this all sorted before I go out um, so yes I haven't had a shower yet um, I haven't washed hair yet, I haven't put makeup on yet, looking a right state in my scraggy black top. Um, so as part of the introduction, you saw that we went out last night. I don't know why I'm holding this, I'll tell you about this in a minute. Um, we went out last night for a lovely Thai meal and I just wanted to show you this. The rest of it's upstairs, um, but uh, Pete's business partner um, who we went out with and um, his wife, um, his wife's from Thailand and um, they like to do what they can to support um, local people. Um, and there's a lot of um, farms for cultured pearls. And um, Nana um, very kindly gifted me this pearl bracelet and there's a matching necklace and matching earrings, but aren't the colors gorgeous? so kind of her really really kind and we had a lovely meal and um, Thai food isn't um, something we would choose as our first choice um, you know when we go out we like Italian we like a curry uh, but it was really really nice and the the people that own the restaurant were very very friendly so we're gonna start with Advents and I'm gonna keep it quite short she says um, but yeah I was wafting this in your face um, this is it. I found this in the bottom of my sherry iris box and I found some other things that I should have opened along the way um, We saw on I think it was day nine. We got an extra gift, but um, There were some others. So on day four, there was this this was in the bottom of the box I didn't want to disturb things, you know But I think this might be a bit of artwork from sherry iris's son Oh, it is. Isn't that lovely? Charlie the fox. He looks rather nice, doesn't he? That's that. We'll pop that there. I'm surrounded by stuff for my Christmas cards. I've scored all those. I've still got some scoring to do. And then they need to be folded and burnished. And then we need to actually make the cards. Yes. Um, this was day five, and I'm excited by this. I can't get in. I can't get in, to tell you. I've just ripped the top of that. I wanted to keep this little glassine bag because they're useful, aren't they? I can cut that top bit off that I've ripped. Oh, it's a little robin. It's a little robin. Isn't that sweet and I love this I love this little it's quite Lavinia like actually isn't it that is so sweet I might put that on one of my project bags I like that very much and then this was day seven I think it's another piece of artwork <laughs> it's a little copper field isn't that so sweet and it's signed as well oh I do like copper field he sounds a cute little bunny doesn't he um then we have today's lusciousness can't get in it's too early in the morning and I haven't drunk my tea yet. I am sorry I'm such a state today. But, you know, it's got to be done. You see, the rough and the smooth. This is the rough. So, rip them tear. Oh, 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 this is nice. Lovely, lovely colours today. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I like that very much. Shall we read the story now? I don't know whether I'm up to reading the story before I've had a cup of tea. 
I've just seen a bird fly by. Yes, it was um it's very mild today. It's about eleven degrees or something like that. It's very mild for December. It doesn't seem right, does it? We should be in the depths of winter. Snuggling, huggling down. There we go, let's pop you in there. And that in there, so we know what day you are. Okay, let's read the story. I need to slurp tea first. Oh, good, it's quite a short one today, but oh, I don't feel like my eyes have woken up yet. And I did take my makeup off last night, but it doesn't look as if I have, does it? I might have had a glass of wine too many. Anyway, let's have a slurp of tea. Oh, I do like a cup of tea. Right. Howard and a discovery. Got a bit close then, I'm sorry. I'll move back a bit. I'm a bit scary today. Right. Howard the Wren was nodding vigorously and giving a wings up to Ivan the Robin, who had just delivered a parcel. Ivan was helping Freddy with postal deliveries during the December rush. The Robin looked across at Georgia, who shrugged and explained that Howard was not talking in order to protect his voice. He had a solo in the choir and was taking things very seriously. Ivan stole another glance at Howard, who appeared to be getting ready to gargle, and flew hurriedly out of the door towards his next stop, the field mice a much more sensible lot. Bessie hurried back to the burrow. She was on her way back from visiting Howard and Georgia, where she had been admiring a quilt that Mavis, the field mouse, had dropped off to them as an early Christmas present. She had a skip in her step, knowing that the bird, that the little birds would be warmer that night. As she passed by the stump, a flash of green caught her eye. There, partially covered by leaves, lay a piece of deep green fabric. She picked it up and went to find Arthur, who was sure to know where it had come from. Mm -hmm. I wonder where it had come from. That's nice, isn't it? Now, as I said, we're um, going over to visit Pete's parents today. Molly and her boyfriend are coming down and we've been to Marks and Spencer's to buy some food. So I'll pop that little haul on for you now. So on Sunday, which is when I might upload this, um, we are having a little Christmas get together at my in-laws house with my husband's sister and her husband and children. And um, Molly and her boyfriend are coming down and Harry will be there. And we have gone and um, bought all the food. Um, we might have over catered, let me know what you think. I think there's going to be 11 of us, possibly 12, and all adults. So, um, we've bought some wine, a couple of bottles of champagne. Um, I hope there's enough there, but there are a couple of people driving, so that should hopefully be enough. And then, um, this is some of the stuff. So we went to Marks and Spencer's for the majority of the things. Sorry for any glare, you're getting off the lights. There was four for three on the party food um, so the idea is we're just going to have like a, a running buffet of things um, so we've got a chicken and pork layered pie like a pork pie pork pie duck croquettes I thought these looked lovely pigs in blankets Harry's partial to a pig in a blanket chicken tikka naans they look nice oh what are these Pulled ham and I oh, can't read it. Pulled ham and rabbit crumpets. Mm. Cheddar cheese profiteroles. Um, Ella won't eat a lot of this, and neither will Mia. Um, salmon on croute. Beef burger spring rolls. Brie and cranberry tartlets. Um, just a little attempt at something healthy. <laughs> Some tomatoes and a couple of bowls of salad and some grapes to go with the cheese. Um, this is a little treat for me. I saw them and I couldn't resist them. Christmas tree crumpets. How cute are they? I was going to film them in the store, but Mr. Paper and Twine was embarrassed. He said, I'll just buy them for you. You can have them at home. And then coming over here, 
we've got um, a Christmas cake. We thought we could leave that with my mother-in-law um, and she can just dig into it. Some chocolate orange. These were two for four pounds, these tubs. Chocolate and orange mini bites. Caramel crispy mini bites. Double chocolate. Millionaire's mini bites. Some snacks. Thai chili rice crackers. I've not had these for a very long time. This party mix is from Aldi. So we've got the salt and black pepper and the sour cream and chives. We love these tortilla chips from Aldi, the sea salt and lime. They are so limey with um, just mild salsa. And Pete likes these. They're a blast from the past, aren't they? Those little potato sticks. Um, these are for the fussy eaters who like beige food. Mac and cheese bites, they always go down very well. So we've got three of those. Chicken munches, they like chicken nuggets. Um, two of those. Melting mozzarella sticks, two of those. An antipasti meat platter. And an olive and antipasti meat platter. Box of cheese biscuits. I said I'd like the tin afterwards for crafting things. And um, this is just easy. The cheese boards were really expensive actually, but this is just already cut up, so minimal effort. And some pizzas for those that like. So that is my mini. Marks and Spencer's party food, luxury food haul and we're splitting it three ways. We've spent quite a lot of money today but it is Christmas. So I think we've definitely over catered. Um, right on with the little advent things. So um, I'm actually opening day one I think when I opened day one of Sophia's 12 days of Christmas swap, the um, number had fallen off and I think I opened number six. So this has got number one written on it and no uh, little wooden thing, it fell off. So I love this tissue paper. Oh, look at that. Mm, it's a knitted lavender bag and it's beaded. Can you see that? And there's the lavender sachet inside, tied up with ribbon. So when it's lost its oomph, you can either replace it Can you smell that? Go on, have a smell. Mmm. I bet, gosh, the weight in that. It's a nice cotton, sparkly cotton fabric. And then um, it's beaded as well. I don't know whether she's knit the beads on at the same time. You can thread beads onto your yarn and knit them. Or you can apply them with a crochet hook as you're going along. That's lovely, Sophia. And... Um, a lot of work went into that. So Sophia is um, a crafter of many talents, isn't she? Thank you, that's lovely. I think, Joe, you know I'm going to pop that. I've got a drawer here, I'm going to pop it here so all my scraps of paper smell nice. That's a nice idea, isn't it? Or I might put it in my knicker drawer, we'll see. So, the last thing to open now is the elderflower stitches. A nice one today. Can you see? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So we're getting into the blues. Richard of York gave battle. Yes. What's this one called? Icicles and ivy because there's still a little bit of mint green in there but very turquoisey. Mm. I'm looking forward to laying these all out. Anyway, that's me. I'm going to drink my tea. I'm going to finish scoring these cards. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to finish scoring these cards. Um, we'll leave in about midday, I think. And... Um, yeah 
That's me done, scintillating today. What a state, I am sorry. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with some utter rubbish probably. Bye.